Hello, my name is Liza, and today I'd like to share with you my Mackenzie Childs inspired tear tray art. When I was browsing online and I saw this uh, Mackenzie Childs art, I said, wow, that looks like a Dollar Tree metal flower, so why don't I try to make one? Well, of course, as luck would have it, those flowers are no longer in my store. But I did do a little bit of improvising, and I hope you'll follow along. What you'll need is one of these um, canvas pieces. This is the flower that I'm using. It's one of the wind chimes from Dollar Tree. And then I also had a package of the butterflies. I didn't have a red one, but I'm going to fix that later. I used some of this poster board, which I really like because um, it's manageable. I used a thick black Sharpie and a gold um, pen. And then I used some gold paint and some gold stickles, which is glitter glue for the frame and two shades of yellow to um, change the color of my flower. Some pop up to make the flower st stand out a little since it's supposed to be a shadow box. I found this image of just black and white squares. And the first thing I did with a little help from Quarantino was I took apart my flower from the birdhouse and put the birdhouse away for another project. And then with some wire cutters, I just trimmed off all the metal pieces so the flower was left. And then I painted with the light yellow but as you can see, that's one coat. So I think I did maybe three or four coats to finally get it all covered up. And then it will look like this. And then once that paint was dry, I took some of the dark yellow and I just kind of dry brushed it on just to give it a little bit more of a definition. I removed the canvas from the, uh, the frame and it was okay that I just left the staples exposed in the back because I'm just gonna cover it up with the piece of poster board anyway. Then I cut my poster board down to fit exactly behind the um, frame. And then I, using a scoreboard, but you can use some um, uh, foam and uh, something sharp, and I just made some lines a half an inch apart and I had a fat stylus and then I used a skinny stylus, a small scot, to make a second line. And then I used a ruler and the black fat Sharpie marker and I just drew some lines straight down. And then I used my gold pen and I added some gold lines because that's how they, it appeared in the original piece. I printed out my um, black and white checks and with a one and a quarter inch hole punch, I punched the hole out. And then I painted my uh, frame, and this wood really sucks the paint up, but, and then I added some of the gold stickles. And here's where I changed the color of my butterfly. I basically took an alcohol marker and I just colored it all in. And then I uh, Mod Podged my center onto the flower, and then I used some polyacrylic because it was looking a little dull and I wanted it to, to be shiny, like the um, inspiration piece and I added it to pop dots and glued my poster board to the back of the frame, added a couple of staples, and my project was complete. So let me know, what do you think? Did I make a good duplicate? Yes, the, the first piece is a, a larger piece, like 12 by 16, I believe, but come on, $150 versus three? I like mine. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please give my video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you liked my, my project and thought I nailed it. And if, as always, if you aren't already a subscriber, please consider doing so. I'll be back again soon with another project. Thanks for watching. Take care.